I have an Ubuntu 14.04 server running here in a virtual machine and what I plan on doing is turning it into a web server and I can do that with just one simple command it's the app get install and then the lamp server with a carrot at the end so let me show you how to do that so I'm gonna log in here and the command is very simple but before I do it it's a really good practice to make sure you do all your updates first so sudo app get update and I'll enter in my password and what this is going to do is it's going to look through all the repository packages and get you the latest up-to-date one for this version of Ubuntu so this will run through it usually takes about less than a minute before it's done and then we can install the lamp package here on our computer okay so the update has been done and I told you it is just one command so the command is sudo apt hyphen get and then install and then we're going to install the lamp hyphen server and then a caret at the end which is the shift six on my keyboard and this is going to go ahead and install the entire lamp package which is on the Linux platform it's the Apache web server MySQL database and the PHP server which will allow us to write PHP code here on the server side of our web server so all of that will be done in just one command I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and it's going to begin the process of installing it. Now this is the password for your MySQL database. So the default user is going to be root and we can set a password here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a password and I'll go ahead and repeat that password and that password will be needed whenever you try to add in anything to the database or talk with the database so you're going to want to remember what that password is. Alright, so after about a minute, my computer has installed all of the necessary packages for the web server, and I have a web server up and running. In fact, if I type in the command net stat, and then it'll be a space dash t-u-l-p-n, I can see which ports my computer is listening on, and I see port 80 listed here, and port 80 is the web server package. So I've got it running right now. I can type in the command ifconfig, and I can see what my computer's IP address is. So mine is 192. This is this is going to be under the ETH0 adapter. I can see 192.168.2.112. And this is going to be on my local network here. If for whatever reason you are running a virtual machine, you uh, will want to make sure that it's on your local network. And you can do that by going to Devices, Network, Network Settings. And you're going to want to make sure the network adapter is on the bridged adapter. I'll go ahead and close that. Mine is already set. So now my computer here in the background, which is my host computer, should be able to connect to it. So I'll type in 192.168.2.112. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see now that the web page is just the default Apache 2 web page. And I can see that it's up and running. So I currently have a web server now installed on Ubuntu. Let's go back to the virtual machine. If I want to manipulate any of the files that are on this particular web server, they're going to be located in the var www html folder. So I would navigate to that by typing in cd space the forward slash, which is the root directory, var forward slash www forward slash html. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And if I do an ls command, I can view the index. There's the index file. That is the first page that loads up whenever I browse to that web page. So that Apache page I just saw, that is the index page that I see there. So this is installing the LAMP server here on Ubuntu.